Hi people, this is Carlo and today I have a literally tiny gift for you. It's a free pattern of this mini tote bag and it's very easy to make and if you're looking for something to try as your very first project, you probably found it. Uh, this bag is designed the same way as the large ones. It's basic tote bag construction and um, it, after making this one you will probably be able to figure it out how to make a large one as well. You will find the download link in the description of this video and then let's go ahead and get started. This project is good to use your scraps and this is my box of scraps. I'm going to find something. So here I found two pieces of leather and I'm going to cut out the pattern. Now I'm going to tape the paper pieces of the pattern onto the leather. Here I found a piece uh, that was a practice piece for the logo embossing, the hot stamping. So I think it's going to look pretty nice. The whole logo is not going to fit under this pocket, but it's going to be even more interesting. I decided not to cut the uh, straps using the paper part and I'm going to just cut it to the length. Um, I'm going to cut two straps the right length and width and then just make the straps apart. Now I'm just punching holes here in, in the body. This is a crazy horse, about three, three and a half pounds, by the way. And this is the way I decided to make the stripes. Because they're too tiny, and it, for me, it's easier this way. You can make it the other way if you want. Now, I don't have those um, ends rounded in punches for this size so I'm gonna have to sand the ends of, of the straps to make them look a little bit nicer second strap Now I'm going to assemble uh, the body, which means I'm going to stitch the pocket onto the front part of the body. Uh, please note that the body has uh, one more hole on each end of this seam because you need to hold the edge of the pocket somehow. So uh, you start stitching the pocket from the second hole. And, and, and the first stitch just holds the edge. Now I'm going to set the rivets. Um, Put in the straps on the body. These are the burr type rivets. I think mine is size 12, uh, half an inch long. And I have the standard setter that I got in some store. I think this is um, Osborne setter. And then I'm going to show you uh, the, the, 
the custom domer, which is stainless steel and it was made to order because uh, the domer on that side it doesn't work because uh, it, it's much bigger diameter than I need. So I couldn't use that one. And uh, I had a workshop nearby and I just asked them to make me something um, to round uh, those posts of the, of the rivets. Now that's uh, trimming them off. And this is my custom domer. So here we go, the one strap is in its place. Now the second strap, just the same way. Try to keep them perpendicular because when you set the rivets, it kind of sets it really tight. Now that's uh, the sides, uh, as the bag is turned, so uh, we fold the bag flesh side out and start stitching the side seam from the top. So we stitch this way all the way to the bottom. And then on the bottom is uh, what I called on the written instructions that you also get with the pattern. I called it like a T part because of how it looks. And then you can either uh, cut this thread and start a new seam of that perpendicular part. I didn't do that because I don't like threading again and again, so I just use the same thread. When I have a bad habit, I always take more thread than I really need. I was traumatized by a couple of experiences, you know, that when you have just a few stitches left and then you totally out of thread, you can't finish the seam. So you find the middle hole on that T part, and then you stitch the side like one side first and then you return do a few back stitches and stitch the other side That can be a little tough, but not really. And on the other side, you go all the way to the end and finish it off. We can turn one side, right side out to see what you're getting. And you might need to kind of uh, fix that seam, like flatten it a little bit, like shape the leather. That's pretty much why I don't recommend using anything too thick for this tote because 
Nothing's gonna be um, a little tough to turn it the right side out, and the seams will need to be sky for sure. Now turning the bag right side out. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's actually a bag. At first I didn't think about any closure. I thought it would be alright like this, but then I looked at it and I thought, yeah, it would be nice to have a snap. So I decided to install a snap after I already stitched the bag which uh, is not the best idea, you better do it before you actually stitch the sides. On the pattern you already have those holes marked, so you better do it before you stitch the sides, because it's much easier. I hope this was entertaining and useful and by the way when you click on that link below you will find more free patterns for you to try don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time